episode of Black Mountain Paranormal Society. We're here in Big Stone Gap, Virginia. We're going to be doing the John Fox Jr. Museum tonight. Josh and Barbara are now doing their walkthrough. Before Barbara even stepped in the house, actually she was outside the gate, she picked up on Patsy Klein and the song Crazy kept replaying in her head. She also picked up on a woman in black dress. Um, the volunteers here think it's Minnie and um, her and Josh, like I said, are off now doing their preliminary walkthrough. I want to sit down with some of the volunteers of the John Fox Jr. Museum and find out a little background information and maybe even some experiences they have experienced or heard of. I'm here with volunteers from the John Fox Jr. Museum. How are you guys today? We're good, thank you. Could you give our viewers a little bit of background about the John Fox Jr. Museum? <laughs> Well, the John Fox Jr. Museum is the original home of the Fox family. It was built in 1888, and um, the boys and their family moved here sometime in that same, same time period, around, yeah, between 1888 and 1890. Um, no one else has ever lived in this house except members of the Fox family. They were originally from Kentucky, outside of Lexington, Bourbon County. And uh, they were all um, well-educated children. There were two sets of children. John Fox Sr. Uh, was married twice. He and his first wife had three boys. And then after her death, uh, he married his second wife. Do you want her name? Well, that's fine. Okay. That, uh, just... Anyway, her name was um, Minerva Worth Carr, and they had seven children, five boys and two girls. And John was the oldest of that second set of children. The three half brothers, one of the, the half brother, older half brothers, was Angelico, Tennessee, uh, engineer and things. They heard about coal being discovered in far southwest Virginia and things. And so he came up here uh, and things. And with this house being a summer home at the time, the family would come down to visit him. And um, they talk about the, the uh, coal museum. Right. Which I say anything in town that's cedar shaped belongs to the Fox family. <laughs> and they, that was their office and, and things. So that meant that they came down uh, here for was to visit the, the brothers who were here for the early coal boom that was here in Big Stone. Right. And now, as far as paranormal experiences, what kind of stories have you guys heard? Well, I've heard stories of people hearing like whooshing sounds that would sound like a, or, you know, like like skirts rustling because, of course, you know, the era that they grew up in, the ladies wore long skirts and things. And then I've heard of um, stories of um, things being moved around and no one really knowing who did it, right, or why it was done. That that just that type of thing. A lot of people talk about lights being on, and they're pretty sure that they've turned all the lights off. You know, it was either, uh, 
I was reading, I've read so much that it's either this one or June Tolliver that they seen, um, a, I think it was June Tolliver, the lady apparition mm -hmm. with the light, with the candle light. But, uh, yeah, I don't know all of that. So. Mary Beth was asking, is there any ghost stories about the dogs? They had lots and lots of dogs. Oh, really? In the dog cemetery. But, you know, with I've you guys, with telling us the names and stuff, that's going to help us a lot because if our psychics pick up on anything, mm -hmm. And they don't know this. None of them's in here with us. So if they pick up on any names or anything, that would help our viewers and you guys or whoever comes after this to know that they are really who are, they are. Because, you know, people can say they're psychic. And, yeah, you guys are watch people. We've learned that already. <laughs> but um, we appreciate you guys sitting in with us and giving us a little information and... We appreciate what you guys do down here, and we want people to know you guys are down here to appreciate the history of Big Stone Gap. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Because the one thing when they're talking about the four original rooms, the house rid then eventually by adding on the rooms because more family would come to stay with it. But our notes always say like 22 rooms and five baths. Wow. Um, and things. So I think some of those rooms have been combined and walls have been taken down because there's not that many. Right. But it is a rambling house, and before the trees started having their problems, Everybody just thought there was a little cottage, and they'd come for an interview, uh, for a tour, and they think, oh, it's only got to be 10 minutes. It's not very big. And then right. you'd be here an hour later going, whoa. <laughs> uh, so it is a pretty good-sized house. It rambles on, which, of course, and nothing's left. Yeah, we, so yeah we was walking around, room. and I was like, okay, it ain't as small as it looks on the outside. <laughs> it definitely uh, don't. Well, that's another reason to hear creaks and groans. And yeah, we're excited. We'll see what this is this is Holly, Mandy, Barbara, Josh, and Gary upstairs in the EVP session. Are there anyone upstairs with us? If there's anyone in here with us, can you say your name, please? You don't have to be scared of us. We're not here to hurt you. Do you want us to leave? Can you do something to let us know that you are here? If anyone is here. Can you make a noise? Touch one of us? Anything. Probably Josh. You over there, Josh? Yeah. But it sounded like it was out here, didn't it? Oh, it sounded like a thump or something. Yeah. It was like something moved, like a swish. But I don't know if it was downstairs or it was like a swish. I heard a thump, swish and sound. Did you hear a swish and sound? It was like a thump and swish and sound. They, said, they, they said they'd been hearing a swish and sound like a... I heard a thump. Did you hear it? It thumped and then it swished. Am I old? <laughs> I heard no. the I heard the thump. But was it down? Let me ask I couldn't them. tell. They said that they was okay. hearing swishing sounds. Were there any, um, anybody coming upstairs or anything like that? No, we didn't hear anybody. No thumps? You didn't hear any thumps or anything? I heard you guys come over a couple of times not saying anything, but we're just trying to figure out because we heard a phone. I'm not sure what it was yet.